What's up guys, Tech James here. So Infinity 2.0 has finally been released for 6.60 and 6.61. The cool thing about Infinity 2.0 as it works on every single PSP. Now if you guys are not on 6.60 or 6.61, please do not follow this video. Please update before you try and install this. You won't believe the amount of people that have bricked their PSPs over something really silly. So yeah, make sure you're on 6.60 or 6.61. You can have any PSP and then you'll be able to follow this video. I'm using the PSP Go. It's a tiny bit different, maybe just like one folder different, but I will explain both versions in this video anyway. So what you guys want to do is make sure your PSP is just on the original firmware, go up to USB connection, press X and we're going to go and connect our PSP to our computer. Okay guys, so on your computer, you want to go to this link in the description. This is actually the Wololo article, but this website is basically perfect because it has all of the links for Infinity 2.0. So if we scroll all the way down, we're going to look for all of the links right here. Um, basically, you need to be on 6.60 or 6.61, and this is slightly different for the PSP Go. The PSP Go has its very own updater, but basically what you want to do is you want to get the firmware. If you have the regular PSP, you can get the 6.61 firmware here. If you have the PSP Go you can get the 6.61 firmware here if you watched my last video then you won't actually need to do this so yeah before watching this I would actually recommend watching my last video it basically sets up your PSP um, for the latest update you know basically gets it running on the latest firmware but if you're on 6.61 or 6.60 you can basically follow along with this video completely fine now you also need to use the custom firmware you can choose LME or Pro C2 I would recommend Pro C2 I really like this one LME has been so glitchy for me in the past I kind of just avoid it from now on so I'm going to get Pro C2 and I'm just going to go ahead and download this they've actually linked it for us on SendSpace so that's perfect all you want to do is click the blue download button and just wait for Pro C2 to download I did actually click it what's going on there you go it's downloaded Okay, so next we need to actually get the Infinity installer. So if you click on this link here, it's going to bring us out to the Infinity page. You can read a bit about it here, but all you want to do is scroll down, look at the download section, and we're going to grab Infinity 2.0. So we're going to click on this, and we're going to download this zip file. Next, we need to get the Chrono Switch downgrade. And now, I don't know if I'm going to use it in this video, but it's just always useful to have. So go to this link, click on download. Um, click on download just wait for this to download and there you go we should actually have three or four files depending if you got your firmware as well now the installation is a bit different for each console if you're using the PSP go you need to browse the PSP go folder and find the eboot.psp if you're using any of the other PSPs you need to browse the standard folder so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our downloads folder and we should have all of these files what we're going to do is select these two so um, 6.61 pro c2 make sure to select this one and chrono switch select both of these right click and just select extract here so you can just extract them right here once that's done we can actually delete the zip files we need to get chrono switch we need to put that inside a PSP we then need to put chrono switch inside of game and it should look exactly like this you can go into it and the files will actually be in there now for the infinity folder we need to double click on this and remember what PSP have you got I've got the PSP go so I'm going to go into the PSP go folder we need to copy out the eboot.pbp we're going to right click, I'm going to create a new folder, I'm just going to call it update, all in capitals, just update just like this, press enter, and we are going to copy the eboot.pbp into our update folder. Now we're going to get update, it's going to go inside a PSP, and we're now going to put update inside of game, and it's going to look exactly like this. So remember, yours should look exactly like this, even if you got your file out of the standard folder, if you're on the normal PSP, then, um, you know, it's going to look the same, you just put it basically in update. So again, remember, it's different for the PSP and PSP 1000, 2000, 3000. Please do not copy me if you have the 1000 because obviously I use the PSP Go file and obviously if you brick it, it's pretty much your own fault. It's very simple to install. Okay guys, so we can now actually delete the Infinity Zip folder. You don't really need this anymore. Make sure your PSP or PSP Go is connected. We're gonna select everything and we are going to drag and drop it across. Now just wait for it. If it says replace files, make sure to replace them. We're just gonna wait and now we can go back onto our PSP.
Now there is also a readme file inside of the infinity zip file. You might want to check this. Basically it just has some instructions in here, but it also has loads of secret features where you can press the home button to um, boot the PSP without automatically loading a custom firmware. Um, you can hold right trigger and square. We'll boot into infinity diagnostic mode. So there's some pretty cool stuff you can actually go on here. There's also a way to remove it. You just use chrono switch and you reflash 6.61. And um, there's a few like links on here and stuff. So yeah, maybe it's recommended to read the readme file but it's entirely up to you all right guys so once you're back on your psp we're actually going to close down this message if you're still on usb connection you want to scroll over and go onto the game section now you should have all of these files we should have chrono switch don't worry about this one i just have it from last time we should have fast recovery and we should have the pro update and of course we should have infinity 2 but first of all we're going to go and launch the pro update i would just recommend to make sure this is running obviously the infinity 2 is going to make this permanent so if you've got lme you would just launch that the same we're going to launch up the pro c2 we are going to press x to install it when it is ready um, it might take a while so just press x x for completed it's going to start the custom firmware if it installs it that is also completely fine we're just going to go ahead and load this up and once this is done we should actually be able to run infinity 2 and um, but before you do that you always want to check because of course you do not want to break your device you want to scroll over you want to go into the system settings you want to go down to the system information and make sure it says pro c at the end then we're going to go back back again we're going to go onto the system storage and we're going to boot up Infinity 2. This is a lot easier than it was last time. Um, if you watch my last tutorial on this, so Infinity 1, it was quite a bit more complicated to set up. This one seems to be quite simple. We're just going to go ahead, launch this up. Obviously, if you want to downgrade, you just use Chrono Switch. And then what you have to do, guys, is press X to install Infinity. It's going to say installing. Please wait. Installation, co installation complete. Press X to reboot obviously your PSP is going to restart and let's have a look has it installed all of the other files I'm kind of interested to see if it's done that system storage okay no so it's just got infinity 2.0 and if you go over to your system settings system information there you go 6.61 infinity now how you tell if your PSP is like the proper infinity what you actually want to do is do a hard restart so what that means basically just holding the power button to fully turn it off so we're just going to hold this. We're then just going to turn it back on. And then guys, if it starts up and you still have Infinity, that pretty much means you've got it right and your custom firmware is permanent. So that is how you install Infinity 2.0. Very simple and I'm pretty impressed. This will work on every single PSP model. Obviously, they don't make PSPs anymore. So this works right on the latest firmware and right on the latest model. And of course, it's slightly different for the PSP Go. So just keep that in mind. Let's go. System information. We're still on Infinity. That is how you install it. If you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one